grew up in a really uh, conservative, evangelical, stereotypical religious family. Uh, it took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that I was gay. It took me even longer to uh, 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 reconcile that with the beliefs that I had grown up with. Um, I remember being around 21 when I first uh, actually was able to look in the mirror and, and say I'm gay and be okay with that. Uh, so it wasn't until around 22 is when I started actually the coming out process. So it was May of 2012 is when I actually came out to my parents. Um, the, the day of, it, it, was, it wasn't my plan to come out to them as soon as I did, but uh, I was kind of backed into a corner. Uh, my mom, you know, that mother's intuition, she just knew something was going on. I finally just sat down and told them that I was gay. I remember my dad yelling at me, saying that uh, I was tearing the family apart. And then my mom, the last thing that she said before storming out the door was, you stay away from me and you stay away from my sister. Got kicked out of the house and I uh, ended up uh, staying about a week with uh, my friends down in Oklahoma City um, before I uh, came down for uh, that following Thursday for a PFLAG meeting here in Stillwater, which is a support group for the local, uh, local LGBT community. And uh, that's where I met uh, Bryson. Bradley and I first met June 2012, and uh, later that night we went out and had a couple of drinks with friends uh, at, at the Stonewall. And so once Bradley had graduated, and uh, we were starting to look at getting into a, a more um, adult house, I guess. Uh, and I'd been thinking about it for a long time. And as we were, you know, starting to pack up everything, I was thinking about all the special memories we had together in that house. And uh, I, I knew we needed to have at least one more. A uh, very special memory, and so that's when I asked him to marry me. Four years later, I ended up marrying Bryson. <laughs> Funny how things work like that.